Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my permadeath playthrough of Fallout Dust, where today it is very yellow outside. Oh man, I'm actually a little, little disappointed. It was originally this gorgeous blue sky when I loaded up my save file, but as I was, you know, wandering around this place looting the crap out of it, I came back out of the buildings and bam, yellow. So, a little bit disappointed. I was looking forward to a gorgeous blue sky today, but oh well, c'est la vie. We have this. Dust. <laughs> yeah, dust seems to love being either really yellow or really red. Not a whole lot outside of those two, but oh well, that is just dust for you. But yes, we are still at the outpost, of course, today, as I've spent some time in between the episodes, as I mentioned, looting the crap out of this whole place, as well as uh, consolidating my inventory, making sure I had, uh, you know, stuff repaired, things like that. Also did drop a lot of crap, so we have a little bit of extra inventory space. Things that I've been holding on to because you guys really wanted me to grab them, but I've had no use for them, such as the battle rifle. Uh, you know, drop that, and uh, yeah, so we should be good to go to here today. Now, oh yes, I was also going to mention the sanity stuff. At the end of the last episode, I mentioned I was going to loot the crap out of all the bottles in there to see if it affected my sanity in any way. I didn't. I ended up not, because in between the episodes, I decided to actually read up on sanity a bit, because this is the first time I've ever had to deal with sanity in this game, uh, so it's a completely new concept to me as well. So apparently, from the research I did, I, I can't be helped. <laughs> My character is insane. Once you actually get that insane perk, that's it. You are insane forever. Uh, the reducing insanity only helps you before you go insane. Once your character is insane, you are a lost cause. Sadly, but oh well. Why is there a... B oh, it's the light for the sign. I was about to say, why is there a bright light here? Even though it's shattered and broken and can't possibly produce light, but somehow is. Okay, well, let's continue forward. Uh, oh, yes, I also wanted to check these different trucks. I saw them coming up, and we didn't check them out. That looks all just like bones. Okay, well, there's more along the road. We will check those out as we leave. And today, we are going to head back north. As our current goal, I've really been wanting to see what Good Spring looks like now. We've essentially been doing the... Uh, standard route you take in vanilla in reverse. We started in Freeside and went south along this path towards Nipton, and then we are going to loop our way around to Good Spring. So a reverse of how you normally start New Vegas, but uh, yeah, I've been quite enjoying it seeing it that way, and I'm intrigued to see what it all looks like, and also there is some modded loot there that I really, really want, so we are going to go and check that out, hopefully. It goes well for us. With my luck, we're gonna die horribly by something, but oh well, that's just life here in dust. But yes, so today, heading northwards, hopefully, hopefully safely. Probably not, though. Probably not. And, ooh, can I jump on top of this? Oh, I can, and I can't jump any further. Ah, oh, I wanted to, like, run along it. Hold on, hold on. I want to try. <laughs> no, oh, oh, there we go. Got it. Ha-ha. <laughs> there was absolutely no point to doing that, but it entertained me, so there we go. Let's do a few cues. Nope, nothing in the immediate vicinity. Looks like we've got a lot of TVs and radios. Come on, jump up. Jump up, you fool. There we go. There we go. Yep, unfortunately, no loot. Just some broken TVs and radios, etc. Uh, did we check this truck. I think this is where I realized I hadn't been checking these trucks along the road as I saw this one and went, oh, I wonder if there's anything interesting in these things. So that's just full of barrels. Fair enough. There was also something else I wanted to mention, but I, for the life of me, cannot remember what it was. I need to start writing down, like, post-its or something for these things. That is a generator in there. Lovely. I believe we already checked out that one. I think that's where we started the episode uh, last time. Yes, yes. Two episodes we left off there, cowering in fear from the herd gunshots. And then we started in it last episode. Or was that further down? I think it was further down. Let's look. Okay, we have a toolbox. Any fun loot? Scrap electronics? New. No. 
Anything back here? Unfortunately, no. And that was the first truck we've able to been easily able to get into. Okay, well, that's disappointing. Let's just continue on. Yes, that's the truck we were cowering in. What was the other thing I wanted to mention? Oh, it's going to drive me nuts now. The whole, this whole episode, I'm going to be sitting here thinking, huh, what was I doing? I don't... I don't remember. But yes, yes, let's just continue to head northwards. We'll sweep by Prim. I'm kind of curious to see how that place has turned out. Again, it's one of those places a lot of people have been telling me I should avoid. Other people have been telling me it'll be fun. And so I'm intrigued to see what it actually is like, considering I'm getting conflicting reports personally. So yeah, that should be interesting. Oh, oh, check inside this truck, see if there's anything. And, oh, empty. Oh, ammunition box, awesome. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Another one. Cases, always useful down the road when I find another ammunition bench, or reloading bench, rather. Surprised I haven't seen anyone yet. I would have thought there'd be, like, rat scorpions around here or something. Huh. There we go, the Nipton Road rest stop. Oh, oh, there we go. Hi. Shoot your stinger. It looks like it'll take two shots for you. There we go. Lovely. Any others? Nope. Nope, looks like we're good. There was just the one. Perfect. All right, well, let's check inside here. Well, first, crate. Sunset sarsaparilla. I don't care about that. Let's crouch. I'm detected. No one inside. Any mines? <laughs> I would like to avoid booby traps today. What's on the floor? All right, looks like cram. We're good, we're good. Uh, gumdrops. Oh, no, that's Blamco mac and cheese, not cram. All right, let's turn on my... Lighting a little bit so you guys can see. We have yeast that I don't care about. Nothing fun here. Metal box. Ooh, bobby pin and bottle caps. Always nice. And we'll take the purified water. That could always come in handy for some healing. Let's see, flower. No, no. Oh, bottle caps. I'll always take those. Yo, ooh, take Maristen's journal. Oh my. We'll take all that. And then... Ooh, oh, are those BBs or something? Yes, BBs. We'll take those. And it looks like a BB gun behind it, which I don't care about. We'll take the BBs, though, because eh, they'll sell down the road. 12.7 millimeter rounds. Nice. Electron charge packs. Oh, average lock. Oh, I can't do average. Man. Yeah, I think on our next level, we're going to put all of it into lockpick. I've been putting it into lockpick and repair, mostly, for the previous levelings. Because I wanted to build things. But yes, lockpicking definitely seems like I need to put more, more, many, many more points into it. Alright, guess whose luck keeps rolling? And I can hardly, hardly believe my luck. Literally, no, I... Bleh. Oh my god, I cannot talk today. I can hardly believe my luck. Literally, I'm a gape. Uh, just now, I was approached by a rather intense young man calling himself Mr. Fox. Yeah, right. When we were alone in my office, he let it be known that he is a member of Caesar's Legion. He knew that NCR troops and powder gangers often spent time in... Oh, this is an old thing. Oh, yeah, I don't care for, give a crap about that. Yep, yep, this is... This is all vanilla. Never mind, don't care. If it's not dust, I don't really care about the notes. Okay, that seems to be everything in here. Holy crap, Bright, turn down the night vision. There we are, much better now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we have a dead guy here. Hello, Survivor. Uh, looks like you killed another rad scorpion before I got here. Oh, God, the lighting. Well, at least now I know all I need to do is wait for an hour. Beautiful. And it's back to being really bright outside, but this time it's not me forgetting to turn off my night vision. So, you know, that, that's, a, that's a plus. Uh, where's new Canaan, anyways? I don't know. Now, oh, these sarsaparilla crates. What's in the sack? Mac and cheese. Yeah, even though that would be fun in real life. In-game, eh, not so much. 
All right, well, let's continue down the roadway here. Take a little cue. Nope, nothing on vats. All right, down to the road. There's supposed to be the sheriff's station up here that I'm intrigued. There's probably, hopefully, some good ammo in that place. Probably, most likely, also enemies that want me dead, but that's that's pretty much everywhere in dust, so that's really nothing new. And holy crap, it is really bright. Ah, I can't see very far because it's just so bright. Weather in dust is really weird. It's either really dark, really bright, or really, well, dusty. Oh, hello. Okay, well, let's take you out. There we go, you're dead. Got another one down there. Oh god, can't see them through the bushes. Hide behind the wreck of a car! Thankfully this one can't explode. Oh, they don't see me. Ha ha! There we go, took him down. Took another down. Oh my, oh my, there are many of them out there. Come on, oh god. All right, looks like just two left. Oh my god, why can't I hit you? I should really get out the sniper rifle for this, but I have so much ammo for this gun, I don't really mind wasting a few rounds here and there. There we go, excellent. God, I used a lot of ammo to take down those guys. Oh, but oh well, oh well. They're dead. Hopefully, they'll have some good ammo on them. 357 rounds. Cowboy repeater, meh. Alright. About a highway patrol. Ooh, you have a nice looking jacket. Cowboy repeater, morphine. Eh, I've got like 20 of those. Eh, well, we'll take it. Old world duster. Oh, so that's what that is. Nice. Nice. Alright, 9mm rounds. Makes a shift a submachine gun. Man, I really cannot talk today. What the hell is going on with me? All right, let's move the body. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, was there someone over there that I killed? I don't remember, and there's some weird... D oh! Oh, hello! People in the distance. I can't tell if you want me dead or not, so I'm going to hold off on shooting. At least for now. At least for now. You're quite close, too, so I'd imagine you would have shot at me by now. Oh, nope, nope, you are bad. Oh, he was pull going for his gun, too. Oh, hello. Oh, looks like they're fighting each other. Oh, beautiful. I get to take out the survivor. There we go, lovely. Well, at least he took out one of the enemies for me. Always nice. So you just had, oh, well, you had bullets on you, but no gun. Interesting. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to pick up that gun. I wanted the bullets. Okay, ooh, two stim packs. That's nice. That is a good find. Let's drop you. And there's the third guy. Another 9mm pistol. Experimental Rad X. Everything else, useless to me. Oh! Oh, hi! Holy crap, where'd you come from? Well, you don't seem to... You don't seem to care about me. Where... I am very confused. <laughs> they all seem to have come out of that car there, and then just decided to run away. What the hell? Okay, I think that is officially the weirdest thing I've seen in dust so far. Just a whole load of ants pouring out of a car and then just deciding, eh, this ain't our scene. Let's roll back. I'm assuming they were supposed to be at the uh, bridge overpass area, but that they just didn't spawn there for some reason. But why did they come out of the car? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, we have more of the normal rounds. There we go. Let's go inside and see. Hopefully if there's anything fun. Well, apparently they don't want me here. How rude. All right, well, too bad. I'm coming in. And let's cue. 
Okay, you have a hatchet. You have a gun, so and you have a gun, so you're gonna be my first two people I take out. All right, let's go for your head. I can't shoot the other one right now, so let's just eat it. There we go. He's pulling out his gun. Get him before he gets it. Oh, okay. Oh my God, there's another ant in here. What the hell? Hi, you. You're gonna die. Beautiful, beautiful. Why, why is there an ant in here too? <laughs> I think the ants may be glitched in this area. There's someone inside over there. I think he may be fighting ants. Where did that ant go? Yeah, I think he is fighting them in there because <laughs> it's the only thing I can think of. All right. Yeah, that, that ant, yeah, he disappeared. That is the damnedest thing. I'll take your psycho. Oh. Uh, hi. You, you, you don't seem to actually want to attack me. Because even though you're red, I'm hidden. Huh. Interesting. I am very confused. Well, I'm going to kill you. Oh my god, I can't. Okay, yeah, the ants are bugged. Ha! <laughs> but um, Tish. Alright, well, I'm just gonna ignore them then. Ooh, Robco suit. Nice, nice. Service rifle. Eh, eh. I know multiple people have told me to grab it, but I just. Uh, I love my makeshift weaponry. Granted, I also do have a sniper rifle and a hunting rifle, which aren't exactly makeshift, but, uh, you know what? I like those too. No, I don't. I kind of like this ant, though. I want him to be my friend. <laughs> All right, let's open the door. Uh, there seems to be another ant inside. Hello? hello? There we are. I, d I don't want to open the door. <laughs> Yeah, they don't seem to care about anything. Interesting. Let's see if we could shoot you, though. Oh, yeah, now we can. Why the crap couldn't we earlier? That was so weird. Oh, no, I didn't want the desk. I wanted the other Hydra. All right, well, let's loot this person. 12 gauge. Nice, nice, nice. Sawed off. Meh. Ooh, reloading bench. Take all these. Ah, I kind of don't need it right now, though. I did that re fairly recently. Ah, Blastmaster helmet. Love it. Love it. You had a blue star sarsaparilla cap. Some 9mm rounds. Some uh, playing cards that I don't think are useful in dust. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone we can play caravan with. Okay. Well... Leather backpack, very nice looking. Ah, huh. does that have a different weight than my backpack? I don't. Re I remember my backpack having more. No, no, mine actually weighs less too. Oh no, that is two as well. Okay, they're identical. Right, never mind then. Uh, metal armor, meh. Agave fruit, we'll take that. Everything else though, don't care. Anything fun in here? Nope, nope, nope. Let's actually do use this for a moment. Three, five, six rounds. I'm not using any of those. Oh, God, I keep forgetting. Which is the shotgun that I have that I like using? One moment, please. The hunting shotgun is the 12 gauge. Okay, okay. Let's actually grab that. So, I'm going to disassemble my 20 gauge rounds because... Oh, no, I can't disassemble any of them. Did I just make 357? I think I did, yes. I, <laughs> I'm used to seeing the breakdowns first because I normally make all the ammo I can. But no, yeah, I, I, I just created 357 rounds. Lovely, lovely. Let's break those down. <laughs> uh, I don't need the 22 rounds. Uh, 20 gauge is the one I don't need. So now let's make 12 gauge slugs, because I enjoy those. Three of them, lovely. 
Anything else that we can make? Nine millimeter rounds I do use. That'll be useful. Lovely. There we go. So, anything fun in here? We have ants in here. It is an easy lock, so let's open it. I'm intrigued. What? <laughs> He's stuck behind the door. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, well, it doesn't actually... Oh, nope, nope. We do have a empty first aid box. Ah, damn it. <laughs> well. Oh, well. We'll just leave him trapped back there. I think that's beautiful. Uh, okay. Oh, I also see a book on the table I almost missed. Guns and bullets. Nice. Nice. Wait, is that a magazine or a book? I always forget which ones are which. Uh, no. Can't seem to pick that up. I thought that was a bottle cap by the lamp. Okay, let's actually check that real quick. I always forget which one's the gun magazine and which one's not. And which one's the book. Haha, it's the book! Beautiful! There we go. Gun increased by three. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's go to our two normal rounds. Eight slugs! Beautiful! So that's, that's just so much ammunition that's useful for all. I'm still curious how in the hell those ants all seem to be under there. Anything in, like, the vehicles? Oh! Oh my! Oh, we're also cautioned. Open suitcase. Jet. Pre-war money. We'll take that. Oh, that's why I'm cautioned. Hi! Can't get me here, can you? Ha-ha! Ah, oh, that did a lot of damage on him. Beautiful, beautiful. Be oh my god, more ants! They keep spawning every time I look away. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I'm gonna throw a grenade at him. Hold on, hold on. I have a. I'm an aid. No, let's go to weapons. Let's go to. Don't I have incendiary grenades? Yes, yes, yes. Let's let's do that. Let's Q. And hit him. Hit him good. Let's see what it does. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's a barbecue pit now. Beautiful. Oh, that was amazing. That made me really, really happy. Which is kind of, kind of disturbing. Okay, let's get a gun back out and take this other ant down. That did absolutely jack shit to you. All right, he's behind the car now. There's another one way down there. Oh, 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 he's trying to be sneaky. There we go. He's now dead. All right, well, we're still in danger. Huh. Are we in danger because of that giant ant over there? Interesting. Well, let's get back out our homemade rifle, or makeshift rifle, rather. Uh, what the hell, we'll repair. And yeah. I mean, that seems to be all of those ants. Except for that one over there. And I think one ran around the building. Man, I'm still in danger. The only ant I see, though, is that one way the crap over there. Ah, uh, it did nothing. Huh. I'm a little paranoid to go much further while we're still caution slash danger. Because, of course means there could be other enemies around as well. Oh, okay, there we go. Hi! There we are. Now we're hidden. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm happy. Oh, oh, that giant one got caught up in the fire of the rest of these ants. Ah, uh, that was beautiful. Looks like that incendiary grenade killed five. Oh, that makes me happy. Ooh, and actually, I just looked down at my timer. We're at 24 minutes. So I actually think I might head back inside here. This was a good place to end because I can spend a bit more time over at the reloading bench checking things out and making sure I've got all the ammo I possibly can make. And then in the next episode, we'll push on to Prim over there. Yes, I think that'll be a good plan. So I'm just going to head back inside here and, uh, yeah, double check all of my ammo. So I hope you all have enjoyed this episode today. And, of course that you come back for the next, but until then, thank you for watching, and as always, 
Have a good one. Now, why is there another ant in here? Die! Wow, you, uh, you're, you're tougher than you look. <laughs> and come on, one more. There we go. Now he's dead. Beautiful, beautiful. Later, folks.